What's up everybody, Ryan Suchit here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about call extensions in CallRail. I have done a ton of audits for businesses and agencies and often I find this is set up incorrectly and it's not your fault. CallRail is not very clear on how to do this properly. So I wanted to quickly make a video and show you how to do it correctly. Okay, so how most people do it is they come into CallRail, they set up their call extension number, and they select all the right things and then they go into Google ads, they create their call extension conversion action and then they create their call extension. That is incorrect and that will not track properly. So I wanna go ahead and show you how to do it properly and even if you think you have it set up properly and you may, I highly recommend you just quickly scroll through this video just to make sure because obviously it's super important to make sure your call extensions are tracking 100% in, in call rail, right, as conversions. So let's jump right in. So the first thing you wanna do is create your numbers and you're gonna to have to create your pool and your call extension. Most of you will already have your pool set up, but I'm just gonna kind of go through how I do it from start to finish. And I like to use Google Ads uh, native conversion tracking uh, add-on integration, uh, not analytics, but some of you may do this differently, but I'm just gonna show you my way. So the first thing I need to do is create my call pool. I'm just gonna go through this quickly because most of you guys have this set up properly. So for this demo, I'm just gonna do the minimum, which is four. They don't have my area code, so I'll just create this one. I usually call it website pool. And I'll activate this. And then the next thing I need is the call extension. So I'll use it online, Google Ads, call extensions and then on mobile devices. And one thing I'll say at this step here is in terms of call rail and tracking call extensions, they can only track at the mobile level, okay? So same thing, gotta change the area code. I always call this mobile call extension. Again, you can change these settings however you'd like, if you want to record, so on. Okay, so we have our number set up. Now you want to go into the settings. First thing we'll do is the Google Ads integration, and this is for your conversions, so I'll have to authorize it. Allow. Okay, so just select your account. I always create uh, separate conversion actions for first time and repeat, and then activate. So that's parts for your conversion tracking. Then I go back into settings, and this is usually the biggest misstep which you actually need to set this up is the Google Ads mobile click to call. So I need to authorize this one as well. Select your company. And then this will be the tracking number we created for um, call extensions. So you'll wanna go ahead and copy that and then activate. Perfect, so that part's done. It's telling me to install the JavaScript, but again, this is more of an advanced video. I'm assuming you guys have all your code set up properly. So now we are done with CallRail. So then you wanna go into your Google Ads account. And then the first thing you wanna do is go to the conversion section. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh. Okay, and then you'll see that uh, CallRail has automatically created our two conversion actions. So what I normally do is I go into this repeat call and I take off including conversions and then I only focus on this first time phone call, okay? So that's your step one. 
The other thing I want to mention is you do not need to create a conversion action for call extensions. They add actually automatically flow into this first time phone call. Of course, if they're a first time call, but that's another one of the big mistakes that everybody creates. And, and I used to do this as well. And it, it'll automatically go into the first time caller. So you're actually done at this step. So now you want to go back and go into your account settings. Okay, and then what you'll want to make sure, mine's already turned off, but yours will not be if, if you're just starting out, but make sure your call reporting is turned off because this is for Google's native uh, call tracking software and we're not using that, we're using CallRail. So you want to make sure that's turned off. Okay, and now we can lastly create our extension. So I'm just going to go into a demo campaign here. Then I'll go into my extensions. Click new extension, call extension. Okay. So the first thing here, you want this at the campaign level. This is what call rail has told me a long time ago. So I've just always listened. I don't know if that part's true, but I just do it anyway. I put this at the campaign level. And then here, of course, you want to put that call rail call extension number. And then the other thing I want to do, I believe this feature is going away, but you want to put the device preference as mobile because that's all that's tracked as a conversion in terms of call rail. So may as well have the preference as mobile. And, and that's about it guys. So it's, it's pretty straightforward, um, knowing the right steps once you know them. Again, I was doing this wrong for a very long time, but, uh, yeah, so please go ahead, double check your settings and make sure you followed all of these to make sure you're tracking conversions properly. Anyways, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. You'll help me out a lot and make sure notifications are turned on so you can find your way back. See you in the next video.